There's got there's got to be a village down here, right? Come on, man. Come, what is that? Is that a bear? It looks like a bear. Okay. Well, we're fighting a bear. This is going to be awful. Hopefully, we do not die. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day in the infected. We've got winter fast approaching, so let's get this episode started right away. The issue here, people, is we're racing against time. You can see in the upper right-hand corner, it is October. So, December, I think, is when the snow starts falling and it gets too cold. Oh, here we go. All right. All right, this is what we needed. We needed this stuff to go ahead and harvest. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love to see it. Amazing. So now we have all the ingredients to make the vegetable mix, and then we can make the canned veggie preparation, and that'll get us through the winter. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, let's place it down inside the house when we go in. Here we go. We know our kitchen is going to be over here is what we said. So let's place down food prep table. That's what we're going to need right there. What does it need? All right. And two logs. Okay. And then... 10 nails. So, we got that down. Let's go up here for now. I want to get at least the front side of the building done. For now, would be nice. Beautiful. Let's do the escape hatch. Woohoo! There we go. Over here, let's pick up clay. Do like that. Chicken. Swear to God, I wish I had the time to mess you up, but I've already got I've already got your cousin here in my pocket. We'll roast him up just so you maybe stop clucking and bucking over there. So we're gonna finish up a little bit of this right here. But now that we've got our plants harvested, that'll give us a couple of veggie veggie bits available. For the winter, so we'll have some veggie cans. After we finish this front little side of the house, though, uh, at least this is the part that we're working on right now, we're going to go ahead and head to a few more villages because, like I said, winter is coming, and I'd like to have some more iron in the pocket if I can before that happens. You know, I did want to come up, so we're going to at least match this over here there we go and then we're gonna do some window ones up here i think a look good that looks correct all right boom i think like that will look good how are we doing on time it's not yet november i think i'm gonna leave oh you know what we're out of planks though it's gonna have to do it for right now I've got to go ahead and get out of here and go do some raiding. But I think that looks pretty dope, and I think when it's finished, it's going to look even more amazing. That's it right there, and I got the cans. I think that's it. Let's see. Veggie mix. Boom. Craft. Let's redo that. And there you go. Now we have preparations for the winter. Two or three of those when you're on 60 minutes. We'll, let's go get this guy. I'm tired of him. Just making noise. You're done. Give me that. So, next step. I want to go water these guys. See if we can get one more rotation before winter comes. Okay. That's good. And hopefully we get, uh, I think the whole month of November is good for growing crops. Not sure about that, but we will see. We will see. For now, I think we need to uh, go ahead and get prepared to leave. It's 2 p.m. Hmm. 
We might do some more logging to finish out the day. Get a full night's rest. It's unfortunate, but it needs to be done. Dude, this base is gonna look so dope. This one was ready. Okay, those should be ready by the morning. Nice. We'll be able to make two more veggie rations. So we'll have four of those, plus our other rations will be we'll have plenty. Well, with winter coming, we're definitely gonna need some warm weather clothes. Wow, both the winter things only take plant fibers and feathers. I think we have plenty of both. Let's go ahead and get this chicken. More feathers. More meat. So how many feathers do we have? I think enough for both of those. Oh yeah, we got near 100 feathers right there. Okay, everything else should be ready. It is. Oh, not everything. Wait on you, Mr. Corn. Come on now. There you go. Harvest that. Boom. Good season. Good season. Let's go inside. Make a couple more veggie rations. There you go. That's how it's done. Okay, we are good to go to sleep. Now we gotta leave. Pronto. Pronto, man. All right. Oh, shit. And we have got to go check out some more villages. It is November right now, so we will not have much more time to get this done. We get through this maze of this jungle of trees. But yeah, that's pretty much the route we'll take. Come down here in the flatland. And then slowly gradient up. Nice little slow gradient. Take a right. And here you are at Marmot Pass. Love it. Beautiful. All right. So in the last episode, we went to a village that was right here on the way to go to this one. Uh, so yeah, I say we just go ahead and hightail it up to this one. Here's our right-hand turn. Okay, so we're going to want to go right through this village. Hopefully we do not aggro anybody in that village. We'll see how that goes. I'm not really sure. Yeah, actually, we do not want to aggro anybody because sometimes go, they'll go run back to your village if you uh, aggro them and do not fight them. They'll run back to your home and destroy stuff when you're not there. So that was actually a really good little shortcut. It's going to take us right to this uh, intersection we need to be at. Beautiful. You just go around that lake. <laughs> nice. All right. We are on the right track. This road is longer than I thought it would be. They always are. But here we go. Here we go. First building in sight. Let's see if our friends drop out of the sky. I did not see no friends. This looks like another building. That Mike could be in. This is a nice big village though. Oh, there's a guy right there. Nice big village. Let's get started right away. Let's not hesitate. Got to be very selective with what we want, what we need. This guy's going to go ahead and see me in a second. Let's go ahead and pop in this house. Got to be real quick about it. Do not have a lot of time. Like I said, I'd like to get two villages in before winter comes. Wow. Two two melons. Okay. Lots of food in this house. Okay. Let's hope for some tech upstairs. Lots of food. Lots of food in this house. Okay. That's one house finished. Let's 
go up back, see if we have any trash. Yep, here we go. Beautiful. Let's see if this guy wants to go ahead and fight us. Okay, you want to bow? Let's go ahead. Go ahead and bow. Go ahead and bow. Call these guys the butlers. Oh, he got me. Oh, he got me. Got me twice. You gotta heal up. You gotta heal up. No worries. Took away eight health, it looks like. No big deal. No big deal. Move it along. Move it along. I'm trying to move fast, but man, I hope I don't miss any tech in doing so. Let's cross the street right here. Mikey, are you in here? There will be another fuel canister. Let's go ahead and heal up. Another liver. Nice. Mikey? No. Got a little bit of iron so far. Not a, not kind of what I'm, I was hoping for and expecting. I'm going to go ahead and fuel up this. Yeah, here's another one. We'll be able to take... Uh, you know what? We should go ahead and stow away one of these. Because I'm not sure that we have another one back at back at camp. Good, there's some iron. Really have not found the amount of iron or tech that I really wanted out of this town. Yeah, we'll put some of that potato paste all over our skin. Love to see it. Love to see it. Man, so many melons. Okay, no more tech. Nope, okay. There's no more tech in this world. Ooh, some right here. Let's go, something good. Lamps! Lamps is like literally the last thing you want. Come on, man. Gotta do better than that. Where are these other enemies? Let's check the mail. Looks like we got two more structures. And we got a guy over here. <laughs> trying to hit him. I was trying to destroy him before he even had a shot to get one. A chance to get one shot in. But he did get one little lick in there. A little five pointer. No big deal. Probably get a health kit right here. No, but we get some more beautiful potato paste to put all over our skin. We eat some fish. We like fish. Yes, more tech. Chemistry table. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We wanted some power or something like that. Chemistry table. Eh. It's something, though. It's something, though. We're getting closer. You know, what we are doing is we're reducing... Getting, we're reducing the odds of getting bad tech is what we're doing. So, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the good you can take out of that. All right. This village did give us two tech, though, so that is good. We're going to vacate the area as quick as possible so that we may take down another village right here quick, fast, and in a hurry. I think we depot and then back at base and then we can go down past the mine and take down those two on the right. Oh no, we're stuck. We had a jettison up into the air. Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect execution. Okay. Stop, make sure nobody's following me from this village. They are not. So we should be good. Hopefully nobody's back at... 
back at our house destroying everything. Here and there it is. There's Marmot Pass. Good old Marmot Pass. Beautiful. Love to see it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, let's depot. Like our life is depending on it. Okay. Beautiful. I think we're good. Let's head back out. I want to get the full use of this day. It's a mad rush, baby. It's a mad rush to be ready and prepared for a hard winter. Gotta do it, though. The work has to be done. Gotta stick to the goal. We're gonna take down two more villages in this pass. Even if we have to jettison some inventory. Some valuable inventory. Judgment call will have to be made. Ooh, that's a big old... Big old downturn in that hill. It might be fun. Oh my god. Dude, we could build a jump right there. It'd be sick. Every time we come down to the mine, because this would be our route to the mine. Be at that X right in front of us, and uh, yeah, we'll just run down this road and it'll lead us right to the mine. But yeah, we could build like a we could build like a sick little jump there to have every time we uh, we make a trip to our mines. Yeah, this is it right here. There it is. There's the mine. We don't have any time for mines though. We don't have any time for mines. Going up here to the road should be boom right there. Let's take down the one on the left first, because that'll be... that'll take the most time. I'm having fun, though, man. I'm having fun this series. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I think the, the log cabin is coming coming along beautifully. I cannot wait to finish it. It'll be done this winter for sure. But still, obviously, we're going to have, you know, uh, add-ons to the house, particularly... Whoa. There's a village right here? Oh, there could be two on this road then. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love to see it, love to see it. But yeah, just to finish my thought, you know, uh, we'll have uh, we'll have add-ons to the to the cabin, some garages for sure. Maybe some, uh, you know, some some woodworking shops, some furnace shops, all those kind of things. Oh, that guy just gave us aluminum. Beautiful. We can even just get two of those. We would have enough for an aluminum flask. Okay, let's do this village quickly. Tech and iron, baby. Tech and iron. Wow, a lot of small medical kits. Small medical kits, kits are way better than big medical kits, by the way. Um... I mean, these heal you 50, and the other ones heal you 100. Those are four squares. This is one square. So I always, I never really keep the the big medical kits. I just use them as I go along. You know, if I have some damages, uh, boom, that I encounter in a town, I'll just go ahead and use them right there and heal up. But I never really hold those on my in my inventory because they just take up way too much inventory for the amount of use that they are. I mean, we don't really need all this food, but hey, man, about to be winter. So we will take it. Just makes our life that much easier. Upstairs. <laughs> Let's go. Solar battery. Okay, okay. That's that's nice. So is that just the batteries then, I guess? I don't know why they call it solar batteries. Don't the batteries also... Store up the leftover energy from wind? Don't know. Ooh, tech. Tech, 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 tech. Solar panels. So now we have the solar panels and the batteries, but we do not have power blueprint. 
So we can't even use those yet until we get the power blueprint. Let's check the mail. Nothing. Nothing worth anything. Screws we do love to have. Wow. So many small medical kits in this town. Two iron ore in one thing. Let's go. Wow. This is the house with the iron ore right here. Okay. There's a guy right here. One more structure. He give us arrows. We don't want those. Oh, God. What the hell? It came out of nowhere, dude. Damn, why'd you do that to me? You scared me, bro. You scared me, bro. Damn, you gave me two injuries? Sneaking up from behind. Damn, bro. I was cold-blooded. Okay, let's move on. I think uh, at the end of this road, there should be another village. Ow! I felt that all the way in my ATVs. Okay, we should find another village at the end of this road. How are we doing on time? Okay, 6 p.m. Not bad. I don't like to be in a village when it's dark, but I, I don't mind driving when it's dark. So, as long as we can pillage this... Pillage the village before time is up. Oh, man, is there nothing here? Damn, there's nothing here. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I did not know that. All right. Well, we will go to this other one down there that we see. Exit the village. Make sure nobody's following me. Yep, there was somebody. See, I think they go uh, back to your base if you don't... If you don't, wow, that guy was vicious. If you don't, uh, if you don't stop them right then and there, I think they go all the way back to your village and start, or your camp, excuse me. They go back to your home base, and I think they start destroying stuff when you're not there, which definitely should be changed. I mean, if you drive by them, how are they going to, even if you don't go back to your base automatically, they go back to your base. Like, what you, you can't even follow my scent to my base like that if I didn't even go to my base, so... Definitely weird. Don't like that. Okay, here's our turn right here. Oh, God. Did the skid out, baby? Get out! Yeah, there's got there's got to be a village down here, right? Come on, man. Come, what is that? Is that a bear? It looks like a bear. Okay, well, we're fighting a bear. This is going to be awful. Hopefully we do not die. I'll try to back up. Hopefully this works. It is working. Okay, he got me once. Okay, he only got me once. But yeah, two or three shots with these guys. You're freaking done, man. We are lucky. We are lucky he did not get one more hit on us. I think that would have been our first death. Well, we will, we will harvest him. Waste his meat. But yeah, we will harvest him. Thank you, Bear. That was a good first fight. You caught me by surprise. And we can't eat anything. Oh, we can wash our hands with this. Forget that. Let's do that. Okay. Let's take a medicated bandage. Put it right on our face. After that bear slapped us. Okay. That was fun. Bear defeated. Village. Discovered. All right. Let's look for some good tech and lots of iron. All right. First structure, done. 
There's that guy. He's right here. Come on, fight me, bro. Uh oh. Now I got the attention of two of them at the same time. Oh, there's another one. I just heard a werewolf guy. It's not good. We do not want to be surrounded. I just swore I heard a werewolf guy. Huh. Maybe not. There's some iron. Let's go. What's that water? I didn't know there was gurgling water in this game. Actually, no. I guess there, I, I I have heard that. It's like you hear it near uh near rivers, I guess, or like uh not rivers, waterfalls. Wow! Look at all that iron. No wonder we're encumbered. Okay, we don't need any more of that. Uh, or lead. All right, let's go depot. Okay. Ooh, let's put some of that potato paste all over our skin. We'll use that first aid. More potato paste, dude. We are going to be covered. Straight smelling good out here. Throw some chives on me. I'll be a stuffed baked potato, baby. I'll be a load of baked potato. Let's go. Yeah, I guess that's what's making the sound. There's a little waterfall back here. That's nice. That's 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 beautiful. That's beautiful. Be a nice place to make a base if uh, there wasn't all kind of respawning undead over here. Need another tech piece, uh, would be nice here, game. The iron in this village is really nice, though. Got to say. Got to admit it. No, nope, no more tech, though. Might have to do it for tech for the winter. Seems like it's getting dark out here. 9.30, sure is. Got this guy spawned in behind us. That might have been the guy that ran off we didn't kill earlier. Nope, it wasn't. It was a different guy. Okay. Well, that's it. That's it. I shit, baby. Is I just hear somebody chasing me? But yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Did good. We got some blueprints that we'll be able to set up, like batteries and solar panels. Uh, won't actually be able to start them without the power blueprint. All right. We have made it back home. It is dark as hell out here, but it, we have made it. Good little haul of iron as well. Good little haul. Okay, so we are back from our journey, and it is the next day. The next day we got back from our journey from the villages, and look at that in the bottom left-hand corner. Just started happening, freezing. This is day 11 for us. Day 11, and it is freezing. But yeah, we are freezing now, so um, no time to waste Let's uh, not die, and uh, we need to get our feathers, which are right here. 50 should be plenty, and I think it was plant fibers. And let's go ahead and make us a coat and a jacket. Let's see, winter coat, boom, craft that, put it on. Snow pants, craft that, put that on. Okay, we shouldn't still be freezing. Wait. It's supposed to be showing your body temperature. Okay, 50. Oh, it's slowly ticking up after we put the clothes on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, well let's let that let's let that regulate up. Let's see where we get to. We might not need any more clothes for now. I was thinking, I'm like, dude, I thought even these two might be overkill. Alright. The rain has stopped. Let's see what our temperature is regulating at now. 
So at 22, staying around there. Okay, so at 23 degrees, we're good to go. Nice. At least we've got some chest armor. Some boots on. Let's go. Oh, man, the lake is frozen over now. Look at that. It's definitely winter now. But that is nice, because part of our winter project is going to be clearing out all the rocks in the lake. Because I think they look ugly. And we're going to get rid of them. And it's uh, actually much easier to mine them uh, when it's frozen because all the rocks and clay like pop on top of the ice instead of being like hidden and buried underneath the water. But yeah, good stuff. Winter is here for sure and for real. I think we are pretty prepared with our clothes and we have our food inside. Look at all that. That is going to be plenty. Let's make sure nothing is going to expire on us. We've got an hours left on everything. Yeah, good to go. Got some stuff in our pocket as well. Look at that. Those little raids on those villages at the end of uh, the fall there is exactly what you should be doing. Now, all we're going to do at the... Whoa, that was a weird little jitteriness. I've never seen that in this game before. Interesting. Weird little lagginess. But look at this awesome house. is looking amazing. We're going to go ahead and finish this as quick as possible. We pretty much have all the clay we need for the roof. It's just these daggone logs. But look, I think we're pretty set to be able to finish all of this. So yeah, let's get right to it. Let's load up our log cart. Get some work in. How are our planks doing? Let's see. Ooh, we're going to need more planks. Let's get that going. Okay. That should be pretty good on planks. Nice. Let's get this going. Man, why does it do that sometimes? Won't let you grab the logs. All right. I'm definitely thinking I'm going to change this wall to glass. Or some kind of cool thing involving glass later. Maybe a whole, like, glass enclosed terrarium type thing. You know, I'm not really sure. But, like, uh, for now, all we have is wood. Got lots and lots of wood. So we're going to wood it up. Let's get this house done. Ready to move in and feel all cozy for the winter. Look at that. All the pieces in place. Man, I don't know. Just seeing that, though, I think I might keep it open. Look how dope it's going to look up here. Massive. Massive. It looks somewhat structurally sound. I was thinking these might be partitioned off as rooms anyway, so you might have some more of these walls coming down. Um, but, man, it is huge and big in here. There it is, people. Just started while we're working on our, our logging road here. The snow has come. Winter is here. But yeah, been doing some work over here, as you can see. Clearing out a nice little area. This is where our road will eventually be. It might not be any more than just chop down trees. Uh, I was, I had a thought to use like the stone forges as kind of like trail markers or road markers uh, along the edges kind of using some of the stones that we'll need to to harvest to make the road in the first place but I remember then you can't put those down without foundations so we would have to build like a bunch of foundations which I don't think is the plan at least not in, uh, uh, not it not for right now we do think we'll make foundations for this turn right here. Because you can see the gradient is just awful. Like if you come out of here with the truck, you can kind of loop up this way. And then it's like a sideways angle. So we might build a platform, a foundation, until you get off to the flat, the nice flat part over there. All right, so we have been putting some work in, as you can see. 
It is now, let's see, let's check out the date. It's February, day 13, 1030 a.m. Look at the majestic mountain in the background. We've got our little, look, 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 look at our little humble shack that we started out in compared to our behemoth that we got going on now, baby. With the majestic mountain in the background. Let's go. All right, so here we go. We'll go a little tour. I've made some updates that I haven't shared yet. Uh, just kind of been grinding it out here over the winter. Uh, working on the road, which we will check out here in a minute. But yeah, we have got the house completely finished on the exterior. Minus all the additions and beautiful things that we're going to do in the future. Like a garage and all this cool stuff. But yeah, here we go. We uh, we, we decided, decided to extend the deck on the top layer using pillars and kind of doing it this way so now we got a full deck in the front but with this nice little cool area down here that we can you know maybe put some drying racks and some other stuff that you might want outdoors but still under the shade uh or other uh construction stuff i'm definitely going to move my little fire i think over here for now, I'll just have a little outdoor fire pit. You know, wood on wood fires. That's always a great idea. But yeah, here's the side of it right here. Looking pretty awesome. Here we'll take a look from the lake of the back double deck. Here we go inside. No new updates to the inside. We're going to do some room dividing and some other stuff in the next episode. But let's go upstairs, baby, because look at this beautiful upstairs. We got the railings already going for the stairway. Look at this beautiful. I love the way the rafters look, man. Like, oh, this looks so dope up here. So dope. And we decided we punched out a hole in the wall right here. Yes, my floors are messed up. Don't talk about it, okay? But, oh my God, it's a white out blizzard. You cannot see anything from up here. You still see the mountain and the eagles. Let's go. But yeah, we did the same thing we did on the other side. We put pillars underneath and we extended this because this in the back is going to be our our window ray. I mean, look at this wind blowing. But the cool thing is, is you can jump up here and you can place solar rays on the roof. You can place solar arrays on the roof as we begin freezing to death. But I just like having this out here. Um, again, we may turn this into glass right here. And then this would be just this cool kind of like glass open deck kind of looking thing. I think it'd be sick. I think it would be sick. But yeah, that's how it's looking. As you can see, we did say we extended this deck, but you can go all the way around the front now. I think this will help. We can fight off people a little bit better. We've got a full upstairs deck, and you can pretty much shoot anybody off the sides right here. Um, so, yeah. Though, I do expect when the hordes do come, we'll be fighting them on the ground. Man, look at that. The fog comes through the building? I don't think that should be happening. Why is there fog inside my house? Do I need windows? Uh... Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe because I don't have windows. And I have so many open open windows. Alright, well, we are freezing to death. And as you can see, we are running out of vitamins. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to figure out this winter thing out. Luckily, we are prepared somewhat. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're still freezing to death, though. So, alright. Well, whatever. We're going to get a fire going. Can we please stop dying? 